hello everyone welcome again so today we'll learn about ports uh, what are ports so ports are a communication endpoint for all of the processes that's running in your computer so why a port is needed suppose you are trying to reach to a website so first as i discussed in my previous videos first you take the ip address of that website from dns and then when you reach to that ip when you are landing to the actual server uh, to which that IP belongs, how the server will know to which program you are trying to contact. A server might be running lots of programs and processes, but your request should land into a particular program so that that program can serve you the web page. So we identify that program through port. Each and every process in your computer has a kind of door through which it listens and through which it communicates outside. That door is called a port. So once you have the IP, you try to reach to that IP and uh, you specify the port. Like if, suppose you are trying to open google.com. Even if you type only google.com, if you expand the URL, you will see that HTTP or HTTPS uh, generally it's HTTPS because uh, HTTP is non-secure and HTTPS is secure and uh, almost all the websites uh, that uh, we use uh, in day-to-day -day life uh, all of them are secure websites so even even if you type HTTP it gets converted to HTTPS so after HTTPS we type the address and HTTPS actually automatically gets assigned just before the address so by HTTPS, we are telling that after you reach to Google.com's IP, you try to reach to port 443. Like here I have mentioned that web server always listens to generally, if you don't alter anything, web server listens on port 84 non-secure connections and uh, port 443 for secure connections. So as Google.com and all other proper websites, these uh, allow secure connections only your request will land to port 443 in the remote server so after that only the the server will return the web page back to you and so there there, there can be lots of ports if you open wikipedia i have uh, attached a page here you open wikipedia you will be able to see that from uh, there is a list of well-known ports. So these ports are used by your system. All the important uh, system processes that runs in your computer, like the web server. Web server is listening on a specific port, like port 80 and port, port 443. And there can be other things as well, uh, which, which are listening on different, different ports. So you can read through the list here. There is a huge list for 1024 ports and these are well known these are known as well-known ports and other than this 1024 ports then comes the list of registered ports so the number starts from 1024 and it goes up to 14151 like for one example you can take uh, the idea of port 5061 and 5060 these two ports are used for voice over ip calls so whenever you are uh, doing a voice over IP call, just like WhatsApp call or any, any other uh, video call through Skype or any other app, the remote computer keeps listening. If the remote computer is also having a voice over IP application or similar kind of application, it, it listens on port 5061 or 5060 for those calls. So if you, if you are trying to call your friend through voice over IP, your friend's computer or your friend's phone is listening on port 5060 or port 5061 for this voice over IP calls. This is a very high level idea. Uh, we'll get into details of voice over IP calls later in, in other series. So from port 1024, if you scroll down till uh, like the example that I've given here, I was talking about port 5061. So if you look into port 5061, one second uh, here it is so port 5060 and port, port 5061 these are being used for session initiation protocol 
and the first one is the non-secure one and second is the secure one so why i'm telling about secure and non-secure just like http and https secure means whatever data you will send and whatever data you will receive this will be encrypted so that any any middle party if captures your packet won't be able to decrypt whatever data you are transmitting and uh, data can be sensitive always so uh, all the popular websites they don't allow non-secure communication they only allow secure communication and all the data that you send through is always being en encrypted so how the data is encrypted what encryption we use what is a digital certificate what is tls we'll discuss later but uh, a very simple way to identify whether uh, your website the website that, that you are trying to reach to is using uh, secure communication or not will be to just open the website like i am opening google.com you see that log here that log sign that means this website allows only secure connection and if you click on that log it says certificate is valid that means google.com is presenting a digital certificate that is a valid certificate and through this certificate the encryption is taking place how the encryption is taking place we'll discuss later so now let's come back to ports again so these are all the ports the list goes up to 40 approx 45000 and after that from uh, 40 uh, 9151 and onwards uh, these ports are uh, not registered ports so there can be multiple purposes for multiple uh, ports we'll discuss some of the scenarios later so as of now just uh, for high level overview keep in mind that port through port we identify programs or processes so for example i have i have uh, installed a web server in my own pc and my own pc is now listening on port 8080 my pc is running a web server right now and it's listening on port 8080 for uh, that website suppose from my laptop i am trying to reach that website 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 so you can see this is the web page of that server that is running in my personal computer why 127.0.0.1 in my previous videos i have discussed this is called the loopback address this means nothing but it it's my laptop only so whenever you are typing 127.0.0.1 you are actually trying to reach your own laptop your own host and uh, to check whether your computer's networking stack is working perfectly fine or not you you try to ping to this ip only and uh, if if you get reply that means your computer's networking stack is working fine so this this web page you can see this this is the home page of my tomcat server you can google how to install tomcat server in your pc so right now in my tomcat server i don't have much thing uh, let me show you some sample applications that this tomcat server is already having see uh, this is another web page and if i click on examples you see three things jsp servlet and so in any of the uh thing uh, let me click so this uh, if i click on this hello world example it's just printing the hello world so this is one of the small application small uh, web page that I'm, I'm getting in return so this whole thing is like a website running in my computer and from my computer i'm accessing the server running in my computer and uh, another thing let me show you uh how you can track the ports and the connections that are open from your computer let me use if you are using linux you can uh, open the terminal you can uh, try typing netstat dash tamp so you will get all the connection lists that you, your your pc is listening and all the op uh, connection that are open in your personal computer if you're running linux and and for mac also i think it will work the next, next stat command 
So for Windows, let me show you the connections and ports. So from, from Task Manager, you need to go to Performance tab and then open Resource Monitor. I will go to network network activity I don't need see TCP connections what is TCP TCP is transmission control protocol we discuss about TCP later and uh, just found now uh, see that my in my Chrome I have these four tabs open and four tabs is uh, open for different different website so in resource monitor only you will be able to see that that uh, chrome is here one tcp connection is open so what is the remote port that is 443 so for uh, port 443 i'm connected to that uh, remote website in, into port 443 and what is the local port so whenever your pc is opening a connection there is always a local port also involved because I am trying to reach to the remote website through one of the program that is my web browser. Web browser is listening, uh, web browser is uh, running on in a process and that process has a door. Through that door it tries to reach to outside world and that door is the port here. So this is the local port here. All the websites that you have opened you'll be able to see the local port and the remote port. Remote port means the port at the remote server where the actual website is running. Like for, let me show you if port 80, 80 listening post. Okay, yeah, let's come here. So listening ports, these are the ports on which uh, your uh, computer is listening. See? Port, zero, port 8080 like in my web browser i have opened the local tomcat server and i have specified the port 8080 so tomcat server is listening on port 8080 and here in resource monitor you can see that tomcat 8.exe is uh, listening on port 8080 and this is listening on both ipv4 and ipv6 address generally we use ipv4 for accessing any website So that's it for today. I hope you have found this video useful. Please do like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.